Hello my fellow geese, I'm Mark and today on Elite Geek I'm going to confirm a theory that many people have had about printing and tell you why I don't care. This is the bottom spinner out of an any cubic wash and cure station. Now you may already see the problem. There, there's a better view. Look at that. Look what I did to this thing. So a lot of people say you can't use water in your wash and cure station because it will corrode it. And well, at least for the bearing, that's completely true. The magnets still work fine. And I'll go ahead and take this out of here and we'll talk about why that's in there a different day. But you can see my bearing is pretty well rusted. Now I'm not even sure if it still turns. I'm gonna find out. And we'll just wedge my blade in there. I can't get a good grip on it to see if it still turns at all. So what we're gonna do is talk about replacing this and first why I don't care that it looks like that. These are the bearings that I'm gonna install into here. And I bought 10 of these on Amazon for $8. Like they're 80 cents each. So I rusted it and I need to put a new one in. The replacement's 80 cents. I waste more than that on just about every print, I'm sure. So in order to take this out of your wash and cure station, you're gonna need a three millimeter Allen wrench. I've got one here. I like using these tools. I don't like using regular Allen wrenches. It's just much more convenient. And this is the bolt that holds it in, or it might be a machine screw, and it just has a lock washer on it. So that just goes in there, three millimeters. It just twists in. There's just a brass nut pressed into the bottom of the bucket. Then this just pops right out and you flip it over. We use a two millimeter Allen wrench to get the bottom. <laughs> hey, look, the magnet works. So we'll just take these out and these are have not corroded at all, I don't think. Let's take a look. Yeah, no, any corrosion that we've got on here is just residual from the ball bearing. Now I did price stainless steel ball bearings for this and the one I saw that was this size was $32 for one. So I can replace an awful, awful lot of these for the price of one stainless steel ball bearing. I might get to the point where I try it, but there I've just taken out the two machine screws and then this should just pop out. I'm going to remove the blade from my X-Acto knife and then this should just pop out. Famous last words, right? Glad I took the blade out. So this may end up being the difficult part because it is pressed in there really well. There we go, that worked. So what I did is I just put this on uh, my bottle cap that I use for replacing my FEP. Took the blade off here, took the edge off there, and then just it, then it just popped out. So what I'm gonna do now is use an extra paper towel. Just clean up around the edges here a little bit. The spinner, I believe, is aluminum. So it's tarnished a little bit from having rust in contact with it, but it hasn't really, it doesn't really corrode on its own. So now I'll take out one of my bearings. I believe it did come with an extra bearing, so that shouldn't be a big deal. You should have one available, but something special I wanna try about these is see that, see how it's different? It's actually rubber sealed. And I'm wondering if that will improve things at all. Let's see, I wanna see if this one will turn at all. Yeah, this one still turns. So my old one still turns, it's just ugly. The back has rusted, but you, you look at this and see how the outside hasn't really rusted and the metal on the inside, it's mainly the shield around here that has rusted. So my theory is, a rubber sealed one, and this is a double wall rubber, might last better. So I'm not gonna post this video until I have a chance to test this for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. Ah, pops right in. Just turns nicely. Put the screws back in. Don't, don't wanna forget this step. Now you notice I am wearing gloves because this was in a vat of uh, resin residue. Even though it's water washable, still wear gloves. Always wear gloves. There we go. Now we have a new bearing and I'm curious to see what happens with this rubber based bearing. And uh, I'll have to show you how I'm using this after I do a little more testing on that too. So I'm gonna go put this in, I'm gonna go test it. I'll test it for a week or so and I'll check it. And uh, then if it works out well, I'll show you this video. Four to six weeks later. Okay, so it's actually been uh, right at a month. 
I kind of forgot about this and then just found the first part of this video the other day. But now I need to clean out my base and I'm actually going to try and replace this and see how it goes. It's been so good, honestly, I'll, I'll tell you right now that I haven't even thought about it. I, uh, you'll see, I, I carry this around with gloves on here, but I don't touch my tools with gloves because I want them to stay clean. I don't want to get residue. So I never use tools with my gloves, but you can see there, I mean, there's with the magnet. Look how easy that turns. This is after a month of the new bearing that we put in, but let's see what it actually looks like. Now for this part, I definitely have gloves on. So uh, I'm gonna have to clean this part because that part got dirty, but I'll deal with that later. So here we can see there is some corrosion around the outside, but I really think that's from the previous bearing that transferred over from what got on the aluminum and not from this bearing. I think this bearing is still perfectly, perfectly new and in great shape. After a month of hard use, I use this a lot. It has basically, as far as I'm concerned, no signs of wear with any indication of where I would need to change it. I am gonna take this out, pop out this bearing just to look and I'll go ahead and put a new one in just because they're a dollar. Like it's a dollar while I'm at it, I might as well. I'll get this all cleaned up. The water seems to be harder on the screws on the side and on the magnet than on the bearing at this point, but functionality wise, it doesn't affect it at all. I have a feeling if I got this all totally clean over time, or if when I had gotten this, I put this new bearing in right away, none of this would have happened. Uh, that corrosion is gonna be coming from that screw, but those shouldn't ever have to be replaced. All right, let's pop this one out. <laughs> it's a little hard just to get it in there. Because the magnet pulls it over. There. Oh, this one just popped right out. Easy peasy compared to the old one. I seem to remember a month ago this being an issue. So here's the inside of this one. Let me put my glove back on. All right. I mean, that feels outstanding. There's no friction to it at all. There's no grit or grime inside. It doesn't feel like inside there's any rust or any issues at all. It's just the aesthetics of the outside here. I wonder if I can get this cracked open to see the inside. I broke the tip off my X-Acto knife doing it, but that's why I buy like 50 or 100 packs. So here's the inside of this, and that looks pretty good, I think. Um, I mean, it's, it looks really good. Now, the only problem in there is the tip. You can see right there is the tip of my X-Acto knife. Other than that, it's, it's perfectly good. I mean, I have a 10 pack of these, and I don't think I would ever need them, even using water washable resins. Like, it, it's a non-issue. So in conclusion, if you want to use water in your wash and cure station, it works just fine. Just plan on, or I, I would say immediately replace the bearing that it comes with. That bearing that it comes with just isn't good. It rusts, it turns nasty. I would take it out, buy a pack of these, and there's it's literally more than a lifetime supply. You you need one. I, I, don't, I don't think I would have ever, ever had to change this. And if you do, you've got a bunch of them. So that's gonna be the end of this video. If you found it useful, leave a like and a comment down below. I talked about some other options a month ago and some of them have worked and some of them haven't. So uh, stay tuned for more information on that. I kind of wanted to stress test this one for a month before I move on completely, but uh, there's gonna be more wash and cure station reviews coming here very, very soon. So until next time, remember, if you're gonna be a geek, be an elite geek. Now I need to get a new one of these in here because I really need to get some stuff done. Gloves on. Pop that in, glove off, hold the tool, screw in, fight the magnet, put it in place, go, put the other one in, clean the tools, clean this off, push the other tool, put this back in, gonna have to clean the table, probably won't get this lined up. Ah! this glove to put it back in place, copy that there, and done. <laughs> Depending on when you're looking at this, this is probably going to be the first time I update my exit to the old one I used to do because it was fun. So when you look back to see when was the first time he used that on the channel, uh, this was it.